Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, today's beer comes from Tombstone Brewery. These guys are out in Arizona, Tombstone, Arizona, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> Big 22 ounce bomber. This came to me by the way of my brother Dennis. And uh, he told me he picked these beers up at a Total Wine out there where, where he was at. And this one says Tombstone Mescalinale Imperial 22 uh, ounce. And it says 317-2022, so, and it has a barcode there, so I'm pretty sure that's when they probably put the sticker on it, but not when the beer was done. <laughs> uh, and I don't see anything. It could be stamped on the bottle. Very hard to see black ink on a brown bottle with dark black beer in it. So uh, I don't see anything on the label uh, that's telling me, uh, it says it's a 22-ounce bomber and it's 10%. Mexican Vanilla Imperial Stout. So, Doomstone Brewing, a great big, a lot of the breweries have gone away from these size bottles got now. Uh, another reason why I don't do the openers anymore. Just about everybody in the craft beer industry has gone to uh, cans now. 12 ounce or 16 ounce. Me personally, I like the 16s myself. I've grown quite fond of those here recently, especially since my heart attack and I can only have a couple a day. Two sixteens better than two twelve. Hmm? What do you think? Yep, uh, that's the way I look at it. Anyway, uh, and that's why you haven't seen any more openers. Probably not going to do them again, guys. The price of these has gone way up, and they've changed designs and a whole lot of things. And uh, if you've got one of these, you probably got one of these, and there probably won't be any more one of uh, these anymore. And also on the t-shirts, guys. I apologize. I, I just don't see it. Uh, the shipping has got so expensive and the cost of the shirts, shipping to me, the shipping to you, so uh, I've just stopped. I haven't ordered anything in quite a few years. So I apologize to everybody that's wanting a, either an opener or a t-shirt. Uh, it's probably not going to happen. I'm probably done with that. So I, I am so sorry. So if you've got one, you've got a collector's item. Uh, back to the beer. Let's go over to untapped 10% uh, dessert stout was aged over a year in our favorite bourbon barrels and finished with an insane amount of Mexican vanilla thick and rich with notes of chocolate caramel and oak it is dessert in a glass it looks pretty dark pitch black in the glass pictures I see here uh, other than having some kind of vintage and it may have had a vintage maybe it's underneath their barcode. I don't know why they would do that, but it looks like there's some kind of yellow bar underneath there, so maybe the vintage is under there. And more than likely, I can't get the sticker off to see without it pulling the label off. Let's find out. Inquiring mind want to know. I'll be in that crowd. Let's see if they by chance can. It's not going to come off without. And that's just a yellow barcode from the brewery, it looks like. I don't see anything dated on it, no. So it's just a yellow barcode from the brewery on their label. No kind of ABB or vintage or anything like that on it. But I'm, hmm. since it had 2022 20, on their label, I would say it's their latest edition. And also, uh, when I looked, I couldn't find it on Beer Advocate site, and Untapped had multiple versions of it since they've done this multiple years, guys. And I just brought up the 2022 because I think that's what this one is. I'm not sure, though. Uh, once we get some of the beer out of it and we'll come back for the final chug, I'll look and see if I see anything printed on the bottle or anything like that. But it's a dessert style, 10 percenter, probably a good beer, uh, final beer of the evening. Uh, which it is for me, so this uh, got a plain Jane green cap on it. Don't get to use this thing anymore, hardly anymore, because everybody's gone away from this bottle stuff. 
there are a few that are still holding on. Now, it's not pouring any head at all here, guys. I mean, straight down, as you see, there's nothing. I mean, it's not even covering the top of the beer. Just a slight ring around the outside rim. So, and it doesn't always work as good on, in a 22-ounce as it does in a can. But let's agitate it just a little bit and see if that helps it any. I believe it'll help it just a little bit. Not going to be a great big, maybe a quarter finger of head on that guy. So that's about all we're going to get out of this one. And sometimes you'll get that on the bigger beers, uh, bigger dark beers, the 10%ers and 12 and monster beers that a lot of the breweries produce. I mean, some of them are just off the chain. 18, 23% Avery is famous for producing those monster off the chain ABV beers. Uh, now the head is gone, guys. I mean, it didn't hang around, dissipated pretty quick. Let's find out if it's going to be tasty or not. To the nose we go. Definitely getting the vanilla. Big time vanilla. I mean, that's what I'm roasted malt and vanilla. I'm not getting a lot of bourbon on the nose, guys. So I don't know if they don't want the bourbon overpowering everything else, but not a lot of bourbon on the nose. It's got a nice sweet marshmallow vanilla aroma. Now let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dennis, my brother. Thanks for picking up. I know this wasn't a cheap bottle to buy. I appreciate it, my brother. Cheers. Nice sweetness. It's almost like a maple syrup sweetness. Very nice. Very, very nice. And again, guys, if I'm guessing they if they left it in bourbon barrel, they didn't leave it in there. It says over a year in a bourbon barrel. I am not getting that. Uh, I mean, is it a bourbon barrel that's had beer in it before, or is it a fresh bourbon barrel? If it's been in a bourbon barrel that's never had beer in it before, you should get more bourbon notes than what I am getting on this. So, bourbon, if you're looking for big bourbon notes, not so much on this one. So, uh, but very nice dessert beer. It's not a candy bar in a glass or anything, but a nice maple syrup-esque vanilla imperial stout again uh, it says it's done with bourbon and it is 10 percent but if, if you want more bourbon notes i've told you this multiple times got throw you a, a shot half shot of, of a decent bourbon in your stouts and you're going to get the desired effect i mean i've done it many 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 times so uh, if that's what you're after and you like that bourbon notes and, and it's going to kick it up a, a, a notch or 12. So just be aware of that and make sure you're not doing that for breakfast. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I'm not going to pour uh, back in. I got enough there to pour her a glass, and that's what I'm going to do. We're going to share this one. I'm going to give her a glass, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Hardly any lacing at all up on the glass. It didn't have hardly any head, so uh, is what it is there, guys. Decent beer. I stopped blowing my hair back on my socks off or anything. I, it's a well-made beer. I will say that uh, they they evidently keep producing it year after year. Uh, I wish they would have some kind of dating or vintage to put on it, so we will know for sure. Because a lot of these times, these bottles are set on the shelf for a long period of time, and they're not going to go bad. But it just helps to know which version you're drinking. So sometimes certain years are better than others. Final joke. some beer guys I mean uh, it's a very tasty beer a very well made beer and they're very proud of this beer there otherwise they wouldn't put it in this 22 ounce bomber uh, 
it's an eight bear. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a ninety, guys. It would get a better grade if I seen some kind of dating or vintage on it somewhere. I looked at the bottle, didn't see any kind of ink on it anywhere. So we just have to go by the uh, total wine barcode there, and it did say twenty March of twenty twenty two. So hopefully it's a twenty twenty two edition. Uh, like I said, didn't blow my hair back or socks off, but. It was very tasty, it was very well made. So, uh, if you've had uh, the Menex Benexa Mexican Vanilla Imperial Stout, the 2022 edition, I think. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, Beer Advocate didn't have it listed, which is very strange that they've been making it multiple years. Uh, and Untapped had multiple year variations listed, and this is. The 2022 is what I'm looking at here, and they have it at 4.21, which is a very nice A minus grade there, almost to the solid A category. Uh, but they've only had 14 ratings on it, so uh, fairly new. So, like I said, it could be a 2021 edition. I have no idea, guys, because it's not written on anywhere. So, it is what it is. Anyway, if you've had the minute. But I had said that again. But next, but now, but ten percent. Remember that. All right, Mexican Vanilla Imperial Stout 2022. If you've had it, let me know what you think. Come in again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.